profitable practices. Farm Solutions for People, Profit, and the Planet on Real Agriculture is brought to you by Farm Credit Canada and RBC Royal Bank. I'm Amber Bell and this is Real Agriculture. I'm really excited today for this episode of Profitable Practices as I'm going to be speaking with Carl DeConnick Smith. We're going to be talking about spot spray technology and more specifically his weed it technology and how that has helped his farm become more sustainable and profitable here in Saskatchewan. So listen in. So as I'm along for this ride, talk to me a little bit about the weed it technology in your farm and how you got started on this. Yeah, so we farm West Central Saskatchewan. Um, we farm about 13,000 acres. Uh, we seed around 10,000 of uh, cereals, canola, pulses. Um, the weed it system we've had now for about seven years. Uh, and the reason we got into that mainly was to be able to continue doing uh, uh, chem fallow. Uh, the way that we want to and, and not have um, uh, resistant weeds uh, get away on us and uh, also to increase uh, profitability on uh, acres at times when when we can use it to uh, to get some chemical savings and still uh, uh, kill the weeds the, that we're after. And are you using this on all the acres? We use it on probably about will be 100 percent of the chem fallow acres and uh we would use it typically full spot spray probably about 25 to 30 percent of the acres and uh, uh the dual spray probably on another 25 to 30 percent of the acres and then the balance would be uh, a full spray of some sort Great, and let's talk about the technology itself, because you were mentioning earlier that it doesn't necessarily do a green on brown. So how does that work? Uh, yeah, so this uh, the weed it system that I'm using currently, it uh, it, it does do the uh, the green on brown. Um, so it's really it's just sensing living plants. Uh, the the weed it system using light to detect uh, the chlorophyll in living plants. Right, and if there's a green piece of paper or something out there, it's not going to set Correct, that? yeah, the weed it system, it's literally looking for chlorophyll living plants. Uh, you could put a green piece of paper on the ground, it wouldn't spray that. Whereas a camera system is looking for the color green, it would, it would spray a green piece of paper. Okay, so let's talk about the profitability of this practice. Um, what are you looking at for a profit margin on it? Yeah, so uh, for us... Um, be roughly a three, three to four year payback um, on the uh, technology itself, and uh, you know that that really comes down from purely the the chemical savings um, from year to year, and it and it does vary from year to year. So some uh, some years you'll use it a lot, some years you won't use it as much. Uh, it just seems to work out that um, the, the times that you do use it uh, definitely, definitely make up uh, the profitability for the years uh, that you don't use it as much. Uh, th this spring is a great example um, of a year where we're actually not using the spot spray nearly as much. Um, we didn't have to do a fall spray last fall. It was a little bit drier. We had a lot of snow, good rain, early rains this spring. So it's created a, a, a lot of weed growth. So the, the, the right thing to do is just to do a full spray. And uh, of course, you know, chemical costs are a lot lower. So it's just the right thing to do this spring and probably this fall or next spring, um, you'll gain a lot of those savings back again by having the technology. Right, and what makes for a good year where you are gonna see a good return on it? Uh, a good year is when you've, you've had a, a good fall, uh, with some rain, you do a you do a fall spray in most of your acres, um, so you haven't got any as many winter annuals there. Just really just a few weeds uh, that that just that happen to pop up early, and then you're typically you're in that 65 to as high as 90 percent saving rates um, mm -hmm. in in that scenario. And let's talk about the sustainability of the practice. So what are you looking at for sustainability and how much of an impact has that made on your choice to use it on your farm? 
Yeah, so the the sustainability come from you know being able to get killing uh, rates on the weeds, being able to use more water on the weeds without physically using more water per acre, um, and and that's just allowing us to use just the less less chemical um, and to create less resistance of the weeds. So you know being sustainable for a longer period of time. Uh, and, and keeping our chemical tools that we have available to us. So what all can this equipment sense? What is it looking for? You know, what are you able to do with it that you might not be able to do with with other pieces of equipment or just by a, a straight spray? Yeah, so like um, uh, obviously early in the spring when there is just a few weeds or just patches of kosh along the outside, you can really target those uh, very specifically with with more more product uh, and more expensive product. And in the fall, uh, when you're targeting, um, maybe you've got some uh, perennials like uh, Canada thistle, uh, some sow thistle, uh, or grasses. Um, you can you can target those. You, know, you can put two to three liters per acre on those patches and realistically probably only using anywhere from a quarter to a half a liter an acre um, as if you were full spraying uh, to achieve those rates on uh, on those uh, specific patches of weeds that, that would be kind of cost prohibitive now uh, to just to go spray two to three liters an acre on on all your whole field for just a few patches right it's interesting looking at the displays there too because you get to see exactly where it's sensing it and you can compare that to what you're seeing on the ground yeah exactly as you go over a a, a specific patch or you can you can watch the um uh, the little graph will go up uh showing you where those patches are or how much it's actually spraying in that particular area so let's talk about accuracy how accurate is it when you're out in the field yeah, any weed that is uh, the size of a dime or bigger, um, I would say 98, 99% accurate. Um, you know, if you, you've got a, a really tiny, tiny weeds, for example, um, a flix weed, when it first emerges, they can be incredibly small, or even just a, a single uh, kosher that's in the middle of a field, uh, right when they first emerge. You, know, you could you could certainly miss some of those. Uh, I find that those really aren't the concern. Those those small weeds will usually get blown out by the drill. Uh, right. Essentially, it's the I, I personally believe that our resistance comes from those large patches of kosher around the outside or within the field where we're just not getting the killing rates on those patches. So what the spot spray does is uh, allows you to economically get killing rates um, on on those patches where our resistance is really coming from. And how long have you been using the technology? Uh, I've been using the technology for seven years now. Um, yeah, and it's honestly, it's really been great. It's, it's, it's allowed us to continue to farm the way that we wanted to farm. And that was honestly the kind of the, the other real reason why we got it. We, we knew we wanted to still be able to uh, fallow and knew that we couldn't do it uh, properly without uh, this technology. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And that was Carl DeConnick-Smith on Real Agriculture.